Hey guys, it's Seth Bollinger again. Um, this will be my visual analysis video. Um, right out of the gate, you can see that I picked kind of a um, popular painting if you're an uh, artist or you like art and paintings and things of that nature. Um, this one is called The American Gothic. It's by a famous artist named Grant Wood. He has various paintings of all sorts. So this one, again, it's it's one of their it's one of his more popular ones. Uh, I think it's in the top 100 most famous paintings um, of all time. And don't quote me on that, but I I just did a quick search and and there was a top 100 page that came up. But anyways, uh, so to begin my visual analysis, I'm going to start with the subject matter and immediately it's like what are you looking at? And for me, I see I see an elder man and a younger woman. Um, I think people can commonly get this mistaken for maybe a husband and wife, but here I see maybe a father and a daughter. Um, you can see the the man, he's old, he's got, you know, wrinkled his skin, he's got worn hands, he's got glasses, he's kind of balding, um, you know. His attire is um, kind of of the Amish descent in a way, uh, you know, those kind of white undergarments with overalls and uh, maybe just a coat when the, uh, the winter comes around. But, um, you know, to further his attire, he's he has a pitchfork. So that kind of leads you to maybe he's an Amish farmer. So moving on to the female, you have a younger female. And, you know, this also looks like Amish attire here with the uh, blue and white collar and kind of throw over um, dress there. Her hair is pinned back. Um, but notice here that she has kind of a distracted look on her face. She's kind of looking off into the distance, almost like she's distracted or is just really not into the family portrait, if that's really what this is all about. So immediately you're looking at that and you can see kind of where it all kind of stems from. And But after you look at the front of the picture, you can see behind them kind of a different style home you know you think of a farmhouse as maybe a one story very small you know it's just a, a farmhouse you know it's nothing big but this one is particularly different and it's got vaulted ceilings it has you know bay windows you know that's not very common for a for a farmhouse but um, that's what you've got here so there's two things that you have to look at you have to look at what it is the artist wants you to see here up front but also behind them. And so I think you have to take that into consideration as a whole. So either way, I think that this is just the artist's perception of an Amish farmer uh, and maybe his family. Um, it's kind of broad and, and, but at the same time crowded, you know, the, the, the artist made the characters kind of very forward. So, it almost looks out of place, but that's just my interpretation. You've got the sky and the trees in the background and those things just kind of don't really pop out to you, but it's a very lifelike painting. You know, it's, this is something that you could see. I mean, this is something or people that you could meet in real life. So I think that's one thing that they were trying to get across. And, and also that maybe, you know, this type of lifestyle isn't just fantastic and excuse my little background there, but it isn't anything exciting, but it's a humble life. And it's a life that helped build, you know, how we are as a society today. So again, you know, this is just my particular analysis of it. You know, I think overall the balance is pretty good. It's a little crowded. So maybe he's suggesting that it's a small life, kind of crowded, nothing to scoff at, but at the same time, it's, it's a good thing. It's got it's got two layers of depth, you know, right there, right in front of your face and, and the background, kind of just to see what the perception of this artist is for these type of people. So that's my interpretation and uh, thank you.